Dude, it's so cold. What's up guys? Welcome back to another adventure. I am on my first backpacking trip. So I got my buddy Seth coming up behind me here. He's kind of the, the veteran. So we're gonna do a uh, two night trip here in the Lost Creek Wilderness. I'm super stoked, super excited, and uh, glad you guys are along for the adventure and hope you enjoy. All right guys, it's about 7.40 p.m. We're starting, I don't know if you guys can see that, we're starting to lose uh, daylight, got quite a bit of uh, cloud cover, and uh, starting to spit a little bit. So I think the plan is to find a place to set up camp for tonight. So we can keep our eyes open, and I can smell a little bit of campfire, so somebody's setting up camp around here soon. Yeah, these things are huge. Currently 825. Still have not found camp yet. Starting to lose quite a bit of daylight, but starting to flatten out some through here. So hopefully find a good flat spot here soon. Get some dinner. Got some lasagna meat sauce, something like that. That's been calling my name for the past hour. camp for tonight. It's gonna be home. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. Breakfast of champions. Got a big day ahead of us. I think we have a 15 mile trek today. So we got in, hiked a little later than expected last night, about five miles, almost five miles. And uh, have to uh, do another 15 today. So today's gonna be a lot more intense. A good breakfast get some coffee so hard push today but uh, try and get some good footage for you guys and uh, potentially do a little fishing if you see any uh, good stranger creeks along the way so 
morning and uh, see you on the trail. enjoyed decline. Currently about 841 and just about to crest over 9,000 feet. We got quite a ways to go. Based on GPS, we're gonna be probably traversing somewhere in that area. We got a ways. Oh yeah, man, check this out. Snack time, baby. Yep. Sir? No, I'm good. <laughs> Help me out, man. Take some of this load off. I got uh, right 30 back. ounces in trail mix. <laughs> Man, that's just beautiful. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, look at that. Dives into the mountain from there. Here you go, dude. But going ball, oh, dude, it's so deep right there. <laughs> okay, well. <gasps> There's my, oh, my cell phone. Oh no. You got rice in there? Uh, I got a cracked screen. Oh, dude, it's so cold. Oh. Oh, it's cold. Woo! Oh, man. Woo <laughs> it's like ice water. Oh, man. That was so much smarter.
What's up guys, apologies for the quick cut. I do want to give a little bit of an outro uh, since the footage ended pretty quickly. On day two, we ended up hiking in about five miles that we made it. We had a total of 15 that we had to do for the day. And boy, did I overestimate my abilities. So we got about five miles in and we're really starting the big climb for the day. Uh, we made it up to about 10,300 feet and I just absolutely hit a wall. It was a combination of pack weight, which I'll talk about in a little bit, you know, my conditioning, uh, the heat, humidity, food, you know, hydration, a number of things. But anyway, so we got to about that height and, and I was, I, I was pretty weak. So uh, we kind of made a mutual decision to turn around because if we didn't, we would have had another three miles of climbing plus an additional seven to get to camp. So made the mutual decision to turn around and the hike back was absolutely brutal. So you're not gonna see any footage of that because I was basically a zombie trying to get back to our camp for the night. So, and a combination of two, the batteries died. So, but anyways, I learned a lot on the first trip. One being the importance of weight. I mean, huge. When I got back, uh, I measured my pack and ended up being around 40 pounds. So quite a bit of weight. So definitely need to do some cutting there, conditioning and uh, definitely need to work on a little bit of that, doing some more hikes at higher altitude. But two, a little bit better preparation. You know, I didn't have a lot to eat the day before, so definitely need to try and increase the calories, increase my hydration. But uh, anyway, so yeah, we made it back about seven o'clock that night and basically collapsed into my tent. You know, it was about seven, 7.30. I didn't wake up till five the next morning. I was out like a light, but a uh, huge thanks to uh, Seth from Get Out and Hike. Man, he, uh, he nurtured me back uh, back to camp that night. So a big, huge thank you to him. Uh, he saved my bacon for sure. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed some of the footage that's out there. I'm uh, excited for the redemption hike. So hopefully uh, another one here in the next month or so, uh, you know, give the backpacking a try again, you know, definitely conquer it this time. But either way, a lot of fun, enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next one.